Now that all the external components have been removed from the engine core and the engine core has been cleaned up a little bit, I'm going to be discussing some of the uh, ports and openings on the engine just to get an idea. So first off here on the front cover we have uh, the oil metering pump which has been removed. We then have the another oil line which goes to the oil cooler and that return line for the oil cooler is way back here back of the engine. Uh, also on the front cover we have uh, the eccentric shaft sensor that actually fits down in there. On the front here we have the coolant uh, inlet and outlet for the water pump. Uh, we have the uh, bracket here, the engine bracket just to hoist the engine, move it around. That's the front cover. On the uh, left side of the engine, that's engine left, not my left, we have the spark plug holes. Uh, this is the trailing and leading for the front housing and trailing and leading for the back housing. We also have a coolant drain and an oil drain way down here. You can't really see that. Uh, two oil sensors here, uh, temperature and level. We have a uh, the oil um, dipstick hole as well as the oil fill. On the top here of the engine we have the exhaust gas recirculation or EGR which has been removed. We also have the heater hose. This is for coolant to go to the heater. And uh, another heater hose is actually right back here. So that's the return, that's the uh, outlet. Uh, this is the oil filter pedestal. Uh, two sensors go in here as well, the uh, water temperature and uh, oil pressure. On the right side of the engine, that's engine right, we have the inlets for the air fuel mixture. Uh, here, here, and here. And the exhaust outlets down here and here for the two rotor housings. And that, in a nutshell, is all the ports, openings, and passageways in the engine once everything has been removed. Uh, another thing that could be removed is the flywheel back here. But that takes a 38 millimeter uh, big ass wrench, and I have to buy that. Uh, actually, to come take a look here. So you can see there, they're quite a large uh, nut to be removed. So you're going to need a special tool for that. Otherwise, everything's been stripped bare, the engine's been cleaned, and it's ready to, to be taken apart and rebuilt.